Live, live, looking pretty good. Where am I supposed to look? Wait, am I supposed to look there? Or, yeah, here, I'm looking there. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, today, I thought I'd try something a little bit different, a, a live format. Uh, have a lot of stuff that's been going on, and I want to share that with you. But uh, I want to see if you guys are interested. Uh, good morning, Liz. How are you doing? Uh, if, uh, if you guys are interested in me doing a, a talk like this, which I would call Art Talk at 8. Uh, it's, for lack of a better term, at the moment. Uh, good morning, Jeff. Um, so, uh, Art Talk is kind of like uh, a morning a get up and go kind of thing from an artist's perspective, uh, a creative perspective. So, if you're uh, an artist or a creative person in any respect and uh, you are you know, working with clients or you're doing things uh, creatively and you're wondering how to go about certain things or how to do a variety of stuff from the artist lifestyle and the creative lifestyle. I figured that uh, do something in the morning, talk to you guys a little bit and answer some questions and, and talk about what it's like to live a successful creative life because that's kind of what we like. Uh, there's you know a lot of people out there that are um, creative, but they're not necessarily doing well financially. You know the the idea of a starving artist is um, it's not something that you would want to attract. It's something that you what you would want to attract is a an opportunity to do really well and to enjoy what you love. And so I was thinking that uh, if we did this in the mornings, uh, give you guys a little pep talk, a little pump for the day, uh, a little excitement, and uh, and get you starting, get you uh, rocking on the day. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Frank. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, so I'm thinking art talk at 8, even though it's 7.45. Sorry, it's a little bit early. But I figured we could we could talk for, for a bit, chat a little bit, see how you guys are going uh, about your day, and talk to you a little bit about some of the projects that we have going on. So I want to give you kind of an overall uh, idea of what's happening. And although Johnny just said hi this morning, uh, we do have the Fireball uh, Gallery, the art gallery that's happening at the Murphy Auto Museum, which is launching May 11th. And the reason that we wanted to create a gallery is there really isn't any place for the the hot rod artist, uh, you know, guys that are, that are, um, creative and, you know, everybody from pinstripers to painters to um, uh, sculptors, anybody who is in the creative field when it comes to uh, loving cars, a place for them to showcase that on a world-class level, not, not, not the kind of stuff that you see at um, uh, car shows with booths and things like that. Frank, good morning. What's up, Frank? Good to see you, buddy. So um, this particular snippet uh, live in the morning, Art Talk at 8. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking about. I'm going to call it. But I want to see if this is something that you guys would, would like. Uh, Johnny says, excellent idea. That would be cool and beneficial. Hopefully that would be great. And if I have guests from time to time are hanging out with me or Kathy wants to talk a little bit about her perspective as a builder because uh, she builds some pretty freaking crazy stuff. Uh, we can talk about some of the books uh, that, you know, it's not so much about, you know, selling books and things like that, but showing you guys the process of what it is that we're going through. And I, I think that that's something that could be beneficial to everybody. Now, some of the projects that we have going is, you know, we're doing one coloring book a month. And we just came out with the Surfer Girls book. Before that was Woody's. And I'm going to announce on the vlog. The vlog is going to go up tomorrow, but I'll give you guys a little snippet. Good morning, Jen. Uh, Jen uh, Tang Lamon. Uh, good morning. Starting the day out right. Of course, starting the day out right. Big smiles, big smiles. That's the way you want to start out the day because that permeates. That vibration goes out and brings back. It's like sending your minions out for the day. Uh, you want to visualize every morning basically what it is that you want the day to, to be. You want to see that in your mind because your mind doesn't know the difference between what it's seeing and what's happening uh, you know, behind your eyes. So if you can close your eyes and you can visualize the way you want the day to go, that's generally what happens and even better. Uh, good morning, Don. How are you? Thanks for joining me. So, you know, one of the books we have, you ready to see what the next coloring book is uh, from, from us? It's right there, Porsches. Okay, I know it's backwards. It's probably backwards. Is it backwards for you guys? It's backwards for me. Maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. Joff, good morning, Joff. Another artist who is going to be at the Fireball Gallery. Um, I don't know whether Muscles and Mojo is happening this weekend just yet because the rain is kind of up and down. So we'll see about that. Uh, but we're putting the gallery together. We're doing lots of cool books. Kathy has started her next coloring book, which is after Portia, and that's The History of Surfing, uh, which is already spectacular. She already has several drawings done for that. 
So, you know, I want to go off uh, some of the questions that you guys might have about, you know, what it's like to live an artist's life, a uh, creative designer, because I've been a designer pretty much forever. And uh, just to give you a little quick snippet of background, I went to Art Center College of Design. I uh, uh, went from there to uh, Walt Disney Imagineering to design theme park rides, did that for a number of years, met Kathy there. And then in 1990, uh, 1992, we left Disney and started our own company, which was KCL Productions, and we've been doing that ever since uh, as freelancers. Um, we've done a lot of projects. I've done about 400 films as a designer designing cars for movies. And, uh, and Kathy has worked on uh, hundreds and hundreds of commercials and built uh, everything from mascots to all kinds of stuff. Good morning, Chris. Uh, Frank says, what do you do when you get creatively stuck? How do you overcome at times when this happens? Well, you know, when it's kind of like writer's block. This is uh, artist's block. When, when you get stuck, you got you to remember that the, the brain is actually a receiving station and a, a vibrational station. So we don't actually come up with the ideas, despite the fact that we say we do come up with the ideas. We actually don't. We receive ideas. And when you have a block, it's because you're thinking about too many things and you need to, uh, 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 you need to kind of open that space. It's like your cup is full and you got to remove that space. Frank, remember when we went on that hike? Remember how great you felt when, uh, when we were hiking and you can kind of clear your mind? That's important. It's important to take a break and to, uh, to go to something that you love and follow inspiration. It's important not to just fill your day with activity because that's like trying to get things to happen. Uh, what you want to do is you want to open yourself up and go through creative inspiration. You want to do what makes you feel good. So you take a hike, you take a break, and um, clear your mind. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, you start receiving ideas. And you might be, you know, uh, taking a shower uh, in the bathroom, taking a poop, whatever it is. Uh, and then suddenly, boink, something happens. Um, Chris says, Aloha Fireball from Germany. Aloha from Germany. That's awesome. Uh, brains have files open or closed. Wait, Ivan says, brains have files open or closed. Correct. Exactly. That's the way it works. But uh, despite the fact that we take credit for our ideas and saying, you know, I did this and I did that. Sure, that's understandable. But really what it's about is I'm receiving an idea and where you receive it from, that's uh, up to up to your interpretation. You can call it God, you can call it universe, spirit, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. You can call it Uncle Joe's um, uh, spirit machine, you know, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Lisa Timmons, thanks for watching. Um, Frank Russell says, how do you, hold on a second. Frank says, how do you get back into the art life? Had a scholarship out of high school to Full Sail University, uh, but life happened and steering me in a different direction. Well, you get back into the artist's life by, you know, you, you can't get someplace when you don't know where you're going. You wouldn't jump on a plane without a destination. So you got to think about creatively, what would you enjoy most? You know, what on the weekends, what do you do to, to, to really have fun and uh, uh, to create, to, um, to live a life fulfilled? Because that's ultimately, that's the pot of gold. The pot of gold is not a big bank account. The pot of gold is a, a fulfilled life and you want to have that. So, you know, the thing to, to get started is to figure out, you know, what direction, where do you want to go and and uh, what do you enjoy doing? And then how can you creatively, artistically approach that? Uh, as an example, if you're into water skiing, it's something that you like doing, um, then you can come up uh, with artistic ways to be able to uh, to share that passion. And that could be as a painter, a photographer, uh, it could be a sculptor. Uh, there's lots of different ways to be creatively free, but you got to figure out the longevity so that you, you do something that you really, really love. And that way it's not work. It's something that you look forward to every morning and you can follow through with that. Uh, there was another question back here a second. Uh, Frank says, uh, the feel good is spot on that emotional positive connection. That's right. You know, the bottom line is that you get what you put out in the world. So this goes back to the fact that we're a vibrational station. We can receive ideas, but we, we can all send, also send things out. And the secret, the key is that you got to understand is that whatever you put out into the world, that's what comes back to you. So you put out a lot of negativity, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. You're going to get a lot of those things back. So you don't want to do that. You want to put out uh, love into the world. You want to put out kindness. You want to put out uh, compliments, smiles. You want to put out what you want to get back. It's kind of like Christmas time and you give a nice gift and a nice gift come back to you. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, Ethan, thanks for watching. Thomas, 
Tommy, uh, good morning, Fireball says Tom. Yep, Tom and I have a big background. Uh, Johnny says, create, imagine, hold a positive mindset, Frank, and it will flow exactly. Um, you know, life is like a river. You can be standing on the side and watching everybody go by. Or you can wade in and you can kind of feel the energy and movement, but it's not taking you. Or you can just full on jump right in. And that's what I like to do, man. I, I You know, it's, there's something about being able to jump in and uh, not worry about where it's going. Just have faith. And uh, faith is integral because it's the evidence of things not seen. So um, you got to jump in. You got to do it. And, um, uh, dude, you just got to jump in and do it. That's the way it works. Who else we got? Ethan says, uh, good morning, Fireball. Hey, my brother's name, Ethan. I can remember that. What else we got? Dennis, thanks for joining me. Mario, uh, Frank says, truth. Thanks for sharing the message. Of course, have a great day and thank you for the tips. Great answers. Okay, uh, thank you, Liz. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, Art Talk at 8, although I'm not sure what time it is. Um, you know, we've been talking for a, a few minutes. Uh, a quick snippet. I hope that you guys have a spectacular day. Uh, Frank says, great answer. Uh, um, uh, thanks, man. Different perspective while I was looking, planning on graphic design. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Graphic design can be across the board. You can do pretty much anything. Uh, Thomas says, always encourage my son to enjoy what he does, not just work. Of course, and that's the answer. Um, there's two reasons people don't succeed. They either don't know what they want in their in their life, or they, they do know what they want, but they really don't believe that they can have it. And you got to overcome those. Johnny says, you know what I do, Fireball, but you, my friend, motivate me. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, love you guys. I hope you guys have a spectacular day, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll also be vlogging, so there will be a vlog tomorrow. Muscles and Mojo is coming up. Some great coloring books. Uh, keep it artistic. Keep it perspective, but always, always keep it positive. We'll talk to you guys soon.